I just went on and I saw a few outlets saying that I'm transphobic. Jeffree Star, who has five transgender employees. I have over a hundred employees of all different ethnicities, a brand that is inclusive to the entire world. What we're not gonna do is lie. So if you posted an article saying anything like that, you better delete it, Miss Thing, because I'm coming. All I said was, is I don't agree with pronouns. That's it. So you know how Cardi B sued that woman and, well, the lady don't have any money, but Cardi B won, allegedly, a lot of money from the lawsuit, even though she'll never get it. It's still the point of she won. That was phenomenal for someone like me that has been abused and dragged through the mud. Now we all know all my past mistakes, girl. Every time that I have an opinion, everyone has to bring up everything from the past. It's, that's getting so old, but the support and the understanding and the common sense from millions of people that I've seen over the last few days, it made, it made me realize I'm, the planet's not that awful. Like people get it. It's just social media and they love to drag Miss Jeffrey Lynn. If there is one thing that I have always found not comfortable or not appealing or wrong is when people try to portray themselves as the better person and others as the bad ones, right? Like my side is the better side. My side is good. My side is right. Your side is bad. Your side is wrong. I have always hated that because what that does is split the people into two. And nobody would ever like to be put in the side labeled as bad people. Nobody would ever like to be called Mr. Wrong. Watch this video to understand what I'm talking about. Today for our daily cancellation, I must again, unfortunately, cancel people on my own side, or at least theoretically on my own side. Um, these are the conservatives who, over the past few days, have been frantically applauding their latest hero, their newly elected spokesman, their uh, trendiest new conservative champion, Jeffree Star. And for those unfamiliar, as I was until two days ago, Star is a social media influencer and owner of a popular, I think, cosmetics brand. Uh, Star also enjoys dressing like a woman. You know, sometimes when it comes to all this social media thing, right, there are no sides. Well, that's just what I believe. They are only interest. They are only motives. What do I stand to gain? What do I stand to lose? There are no sides. So you might think that those other conservatives are on your side, but not necessarily on your side. They might agree on a few things with you and they disagree on a few things with Joe Biden or B. Moore. But that does not necessarily mean that they are on your side because you will come to find out that there would be certain things that they would disagree with you too. <laughs> so, but let's let Matt continue. When he appeared on a podcast and said this. I'm not into all the other things. What are the they and them? Yeah. And all that X that we added during the pandemic because everyone mm -hmm. was so bored on their houses. They just started to make up more and more, more stuff. Yeah. That's where the conservatives like me because I'm just real. Yeah, you there's do no, have a conservative you're not vibe to you. Them. You're trans, you're male or you're female. And you're standing and on that. Get so mad when I say that. How are you a they? What the f does that mean? It's stupid is what it is. Yeah. But you need someone like me that looks like me to say it. Because if you say it, it turns into you're homophobic, you hate trans people, you hate gays. And it's just how you feel. You don't hate anyone. You just think it's stupid. <laughs> you see, right? If someone like him or her would go on air and say stuff like that, how people who are gender binary are stupid or it's just crazy to be gender neutral and he or her would not accept someone with a gender neutral identity. 
how does he or she expect straight people to accept him or her if he or she would not accept other people? You must ask yourself this question. Because remember, he is saying that conservatives like him because he says things the way there is or they are. But if you ask the conservative, they will have a totally different view about him. Because remember, he's a cross dresser. He shouldn't be dressing like that. He shouldn't be doing all sorts of makeup on his face, right? He should be a man because he is a he. <laughs> so I don't think Ben Shapiro or Matt Walsh or Candy Owens will view him as a royal model for their children. I don't think they will even let their children go close or closer to him. They won't. Why? Because they don't view him as a normal person. Because they don't agree with his lifestyle. And that is why they would not allow their children to go near him. So I don't understand why he thinks that conservatives like him. I don't know if he is delusional or not, but I think that, <laughs> I think that really is not what it is. I don't think that conservative would be like, oh, yeah, you are now with us. Come on, come on, come on, come on stage. Come on, talk. Come on, talk um, on our behalf. They will never do that. <laughs> but let's hear what Matt has to say. Now that, what you just heard, makes Jeffree Star based, apparently. He's based now. He said one thing that conservatives like, and uh, they were on the scene with pom-poms in no time. And yes, Star is right that the they-them stuff is BS, of course. Obviously. But the problem, one of them anyway, is that he rejects non-binary while affirming trans. He says that the only valid categories are trans, male, or female. Well, let me just make this one final point. If we want to build a society where all of us can live peacefully, then we must all learn to accept one another. Jeffrey Edge saying that he is okay with trans, male, and female, but not with neutral binary. It's not different from the conservatives saying that they are only for man and woman, male and female, and nothing else. So if he, a trans, is also spreading this level of divisiveness among us, then what about straight people? What about conservatives? What about religious people? And I hope that Jeffrey will understand that. Jeffrey will understand that splitting people or saying that others who do not identify as he does are stupid is bad. And that everyone has the right to be who they want to be. But you guys out there, what do you think about Jeffrey's take on this whole gender issue. Do you think that he is right to say that they are just trans, male, and female? And also, do you think that conservatives, the really, really hardliners, will fall for this? Let us know in the comment section below because, like always, we love hearing what you have to say. And also, please do not forget to like this video, share this video, follow our Facebook page, and most importantly, subscribe to this YouTube channel because little bit of good will, like the one you're doing just now, help us a lot and we shall forever be grateful to you. So thank you very much for doing just that. And like always, see you in the next one.